And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Howdy, folks. I'm Darren. I'm Susan. Welcome back to Cross Timbers Farm at 8th Day Chronicles. We're glad to have you with us. Today, we're going to talk to you a little bit about our livestock guardian dogs. And um, most people that, that own farms have a farm dog around and uh, to keep things, uh, predators and stuff such as that ran off. But And a lot of folks just have pets. Uh, they like a, a farm dog around. It really just kind of lives at the, at the farm. But uh, our livestock dogs here have jobs. And they're also our pets. These, these dogs will uh, live their life here. Uh, they're not going anywhere. They'll be here. They're, they're part of the farm. They're, as I refer to them, farm employees. <laughs> uh, and they're good farm employees. They're on the job 24-7, 365. Uh, we have a lot of questions sometimes people ask about our livestock guardian dogs. And we found out over the years that um, there's a lot of good livestock guardian dogs out there, but a great one is is a jewel and uh, you know there, there's some that do a, do a good job and there's some that do a fantastic job and uh, laying here with us today is Oakley and I'll let Susan give you a little bit of background on Oakley. Come here Oakley. Oh she's gonna lay there. Oakley is um, what we call our accidental farm dog. She is half Australian Shepherd and half um, Chocolate Lab. She was an accidental breeding, and we got her just as a pet, but we quickly learned that she very much liked the goats. She is a, a fierce protector of what is hers, and but she's very gentle with um, newborn kids. She's been known to help clean them up if mom's in trouble. She's been known to alert us that, hey, mom, is getting ready to kid. She alerts us to all predators. Um, early in her life, she did have some issues with the chickens. Chickens. Well, uh, I, I, we found that, that chickens is one of those things that, and, and I see a lot of people on, on their channels talking about livestock guardian dogs, and they say they do fantastic with their, with their cattle or their sheep or their goats even around their horses, but they don't do well with, with fowl, with birds. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, that seems to be a, a, a reoccurring mm -hmm. thing that a lot of people says, oh, uh, th this dog's great, but I can't trust them around my chickens. Yeah, we, we found that Oakley, I guess where she has lab in her, is sort of soft mouth. She, she wanted to pick the chickens up and, and bring them to you. Uh, well, she killed a few in the process. But yeah, and I and I don't think she meant to. I, I don't think because she never tried to eat them. Um, she also is very good at hurting the goats. She has several barks that the goats tend to recognize, and and she has one that brings them all to the barn, and they congregate in one area and stay with her while the other dog kind of patrols the perimeter. Yeah. And then she will release them when she senses danger is over. Yeah. One, one thing we found with, with different breeds, you have some breeds that want to stay right with your herd, uh, wh whether it be goats or sheep or cattle. They want to stay right with them and mingle with them. Then you have some that don't really want to stay right with them. They want to range out and patrol the perimeters. And Oakley kind of does both uh, because she's a mix. Um, she has she will stay with the goats a lot of times but she most of the time you don't see her just laying right in the middle of them unless what well, it's kids unless it's kids and then she she tends to to try to mama the kids and, yes. and she becomes an, a nanny replacement for yeah, them yeah she tries to she tries to mama the kids and she's very protective of them not toward their moms uh, or anything like that but any kind of uh, predator she she's she's pretty protective of the goats Oakley is uh, a little over seven years old. We got her yeah. in, in fall of 2015, and she was just just a pup. Um, she has been a fantastic dog. Yes, she is. She she follows me every morning and every evening on my my morning routine of 
here on the farm and taking care of all the farm chores. Uh, she minds me as well as uh, most people's kids mind them, or maybe better to be quite honest. Most times, she, she, me and her are on such a good page with each other, I can just point and she knows what I want her to do. She does. Uh, she, our, our daughter um, kind of taught her some hand signals and hand gestures, so if, if Oakley is farther away in the pasture or you don't want to use voice commands, she she has some sign language that she yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oakley. And just the tone of my voice, if I see yeah. if I see something in the pasture that I don't like and, the, and she hasn't noticed it yet, which she usually always does, but I can use a certain tone of voice and point my finger and say Oakley and point like that. She sees you see her perk mm -hmm. up, uh, but I didn't use that tone of voice. Uh, point and she will take off to go investigate the direction that I was pointing to see what's out there using her nose and her ears and her eyes to find out what's going on. She, she's a good one. She's a little camera shy. We have learned that anytime she sees a phone camera or this camera or any camera, she tends to <laughs> not do what she's supposed to what you yeah. want her to do come here yeah come on that's true she uh she's a fierce protector of this property and our farm and our perimeter fence she keeps a patrol on it uh sometimes i look out the window from the house and i see her way off in the distance patrolling the perim our perimeter fence going round and round it ever so often mm -hmm. and keeping an eye out. Uh, she does not let anything in this in our pastures where our goats are, including humans, unless she knows you. Uh, she will not let any one that she's unfamiliar with in. Um, uh, and that goes for people and animals. She, she's a fierce protector of the property. And she's been a good one. With with all livestock dogs, and we was talking about the chickens earlier, um, I think you have to you have to teach these dogs sometimes ones that's not good with chickens how to be good with chickens. And Oakley was a little bit hard headed with that. I guess it was the maybe the lab in her when she was a pup. Um, it took some. <laughs> I think it was the shepherd. And yeah, it could have been. It took some pretty good training sessions without going into great detail for us to get it through her skull that the chickens was part of the property here that she needed to protect. And you know, it, some dogs you have to take a little heavier hand with them in their training because they're a little more hard headed. And when it came to the chickens, she was. Uh, we had to take a little little uh, stiffer hand with her with, when it came to the chickens. Now she took to the goats like a duck to water there was no problem, but with the chickens, it took a little work to get her uh, to that point. So, and since then, she's great with them. She is, yeah. She has no problem with them. Matter of fact, uh, she keeps everything away and watches over the chickens as good as she does the, the goats. So, we're really happy with her. She has been a, uh, a gem. She's a rare find, and uh, to be a mixed breed like that and turn out to be this good of a livestock guardian dog, is just unreal. It's unreal. She's a good girl. Come here. Come. Come. Good girl, Oakley. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Look. Say hello. You know, one thing a lot of people ask, they see the gray around her mouth and they go, boy, that's an old dog. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, she's had that gray around her mouth ever since she was a puppy. I think it's some of the, the Australian shepherd coloring that tried to come out amongst the chocolate lab. Yeah, she has, and it makes her look old. And she, even when she was a puppy, she had that gray around her mouth that made her look old. Getting a little more gray around her eyes. Sure. She's got, she's got her little shepherd ears. She has a lab tail. She's a good dog. She is that. Okay, and our, we have two livestock guardian dogs here on the farm. And this is our second one, this big white snowball. And her name's Raven. She is a purebred Great Pyrenees. And uh, she is, I would say medium size for a Pyrenees. She's not, she's not really big, but she's not, 
just super small either. She's kind of in the mid range. Yeah. And Raven is how old now? Uh, she, she was one in March, so about a year and a half. So she's about a year and a half old. And I would consider any livestock guardian dog at a year and a half old still in training. Uh, but she's doing really well. Um, she has took to her training with the goats um, like you wouldn't believe. One thing about I found out about Pyrenees is, is I refer to her as the slobber box. <laughs> she slobbers all over everything. Um, but she's a, she's a purebred Pyrenees, Great Pyrenees. And um, she's, she's doing well. She has adjusted to her training really good. She's taken to it really well. She is the top dog, and we found out with the Pyrenees that she wants to stay right with the goats. Uh, whereas Oakley wants to range out some and patrol the perimeters. Uh, occasionally, Raven will go with her on those perimeter patrols. But most of the time when you look out in the pasture, uh, Raven's right there with the goats. She stays pretty close to them, uh, watching them. The goats will feed into a certain area and she'll go with them somewhere and just lay down and lay there and watch them. Uh, one thing that I found out about a Pyrenees, if you have close neighbors around your place, they're barkers. They bark and bark and bark and then bark some more and bark some more. Um, the barking is their way of telling all the predators around and anything that might want to come into the pasture, hey, I'm here and I'm on duty. Don't come over here. That's mm -hmm. from everything that I've watched and read from professional trainers, that's a Pyrenees' uh, trait. It's their first defense. That's their first Stay defense. Away. And she has got a bark that, that sounds like uh, uh, that she's an absolute monster of a dog. So um, that's her first line of defense. And I've seen her get after some deer, jump the fence and get into our pasture. And man, she's like a lightning bolt across mm -hmm. the field uh, mm -hmm. to run them away. Nothing comes in but her goats and chickens. She doesn't even let crows fly over no. without alerting. Yeah, with the chickens, if a, if a hawk flies over or a buzzard or anything way up in the sky and she sees it, she'll follow it down through the pasture barking the whole way like, like you need to leave. Uh, <laughs> She's really, she's turning into a really good livestock dog. Uh, one thing that, and I don't know if this is, this is common with all Pyrenees or not, maybe some of you folks that maybe has a great Pyrenees a lot longer than we have could, could uh, comment and let us know. But one thing we found with her training is that Raven wears her feelings right here on her shoulders. Uh, if, when she was in training, and of course she still is, but when she done something that's a no-no and I scold her very hard, uh, point my finger and let my voice get a little bit loud at her, oh, she pouts, don't she? <laughs> she walks off with her head drooped and looking at you with those droopy eyes like, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me. Yeah, like like her feelings is really hurt if she thinks you're mad at her. And I've scolded her before with a chicken, and we only had one incident with a chicken with her. And she had a chicken cornered in in the goat shed, and had the chicken had some slobber on it, so she had put her mouth on it, but the chicken was not bleeding or anything like that. And I caught her in the act of doing that, and kind of yelled at her and pointed my finger saying no, no, no. And she literally wouldn't hardly come to me for two days. <laughs> I mean, she, she didn't avoid me, but she kind of stayed, you know, 10 yards away from me, kind of with her head hung, looking at me like, are you still mad at me? Uh, so one thing that we found out with the Pyrenees is they're training. You have to have a soft hand. You have to be very easy with them, or at least with her. I don't know if they're all that way. If you have a Pyrenees in yours, it, it wears its feelings on its shoulder. Comment and let us know uh, because it, it's actually made her training really easy. It really has. Yeah, that that you don't have to you don't have to scold her very hard at all, and she gets her feelings hurt. And 
usually the one time you scold her over something, she's done with it. The only time. Yeah, usually. she's done with it. She won't do it no more. Or at least she don't do it while we're around. And there's been no evidence of her doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, she like, was very timid and shy as a puppy. She was, and I think um, that that comes from her parents. The the parent dogs of them was that apparently was a trait that that was in this line. Um, but once she bonded with us, this is she's about to break my leg right now, leaning on me so hard. Oh, she just wants to she's, stay on you. She wants to be right with yeah, you. She still thinks she's a puppy and can just sit in her lap. But you know, w one thing that I've that I've noticed and I've seen uh, some other folks say that have livestock guardian dogs is to put your dog in with your herd and leave it there. Don't, don't. Don't interact. Don't interact with them, don't handle them, don't pet on them, don't sit down and spend time with them. That you don't want the dog to think you're the herd and not the goats or the cattle or sheep or whatever it may be. You want that dog to bond with those goats and sheep, not you. And I 110% disagree with that. Would Absolutely. You? Um, because they will come to see you as a predator and a large dog like this, if I could not go into the pasture and do anything with the goats when they needed me or feed her or trim her toenails or deworm her, anything with her, um, it, it could get Oh bad. yeah, yeah. And, and we have, occasionally, we have some visitors come to the farm, family come by. Uh, we have some 4-H kids come occasionally. And the last thing we want is, is a dog that goes bonkers at, 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 any, at, 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 at people. Yeah. And uh, matter of fact, we was talking about Oakley earlier. When we have strangers come here, Oakley has to be put up. Yes. Um, as she's about to knock me over, I'm going to have to, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but but now Raven um, is not that way. She she's very people oriented. She likes people, and to to not bond with your livestock guardian dogs to me is a big disservice to them. Um, Raven has bonded with us, and she's bonded with the goats. Uh, she sees us and the goats as what she needs to protect her pack yeah um and she, I, to me i see no difference in in the way she treats us and the goats when i'm here working around the farm she'll follow me around to an extent and just lay down and watch me and then if the goats start to move off she'll jump up and run over and go with them for a while but she always lays down where she usually positions herself where she can see both of us the goats and she's going to knock the camera over. Raven, come here. Raven, look, 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 look. Come here. <laughs> come here. Okay. Come back. We about had a catastrophe there. Yeah. But she will, she will position herself where she can see what I'm doing, and then she'll, where she can still see what the goats are doing. So, uh, she's been a good one so far. And like I said, she's still young. She's only a year and a half old. And, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with her performance. She's a good farm employee. Um, I will say about Raven and Oakley, we have a, well, she's now three-year-old granddaughter that has been at the farm her off, not every single day, but pretty much her entire life. And they have bonded with her also to the point that if, if she is here with us, even if she's not in the pastures where the dogs are, if she gets anywhere close to our electrical fence, the, both the dogs start alerting. They are very protective of her. When she comes in mm -hmm. in here with me to do morning chores or evening chores, um, they watch her just like they would a goat. Yeah, they do. They they make sure that they keep her safe while we're doing what we need to yeah. do. Yeah, Raven is a very oh, I don't know what you call it touchy feely dog. She's very affectionate. Yeah, affectionate I guess is the word. And she emotional. likes <laughs> she and emotional. She likes typical uh well I better not go there. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oakley has been spayed. Um Raven has not and I can tell a difference in in their personalities that way. Oakley is wonderful with the kids, the goat kids. She is great with the adult goats, but they don't push her. 
the adult goats even kind of push Raven around a little bit. Oh yeah, they'll head butter and everything. And she just she just lays there and takes it. Mm -hmm. She just looks at them like, why'd you do that? And Oakley <laughs> kind of puts the goats in their place and says, I, I will protect yeah. you and I will do it for you, but don't be mean to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oakley's kind of that way. She'll, like I said, she'll lay right with the goats. But if one of them pushes the limits and starts starts getting on her and putting their feet on them she'll let them know right quick mm -hmm. hey i'll protect you with my life but there's boundaries don't 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 tread on me she's never hurt a goat never no. even come close to it but she has uh, gotten a little loud with them before and, yeah kind of put them in their place to let them know them. let her, them know her biggest boundary is is her tail and her and if if you touch her tail and she doesn't want you to she will let you know yeah yeah but uh I, if you own a pit, great pyrenees a pure bed great pyrenees comment and let us know how you think about you if this trade is normal with yours uh she's a she's a barker she barks at uh anything uh that she thinks is around of course they got a sense of smell that we as people can't even imagine how good it is so sometimes you wonder if she's catching a scent of you know coyotes in the area or something that, that sets her off to barking some but i'm telling you since we've had these livestock guardian dogs on our farm how many animals have we lost to predators none none we've lost not them. a one and most people go are you kidding you've not even lost a chicken nope no we have not we lost a chicken to oakley early on but well i'm talking predator. to predators <laughs> and as you can see we let our chickens free range every day they're out you know scratching in the dirt and getting uh, bugs and doing all that type of stuff that a chicken's supposed to do and we have not lost a chicken no. uh, since we've had our livestock no. guardian dogs they are worth their weight in gold we can leave the farm and be gone for the whole day or the whole night and i do not worry about our goat herd mm -mm. i don't and and one thing that i will mention a lot of people are worried with with animals and uh, goat herds and things of that nature uh, about coyotes and skunks and weasels and foxes but and and susan can tell you this what's the number one predator around a farm uh neighborhood dog neighborhood dogs um that is our that is our number one thing that we watch for is roaming neighborhood dogs a lot of folks out in the country buy uh, a dog for a pet and they just bring it home and turn it loose and stick a collar on it and turn it loose and all day while they're at work it's out running deer going all over the neighborhoods down to the neighbor's farm up to the next farm chasing chickens and uh you name it so uh, and that's one reason we have very good electric fences. It keeps stuff out as well as keeping stuff in. So, um, and our dogs have done a really good job so far keeping everything out. They, even the neighborhood dogs, they go on full alert and they don't let nothing in. They do not. Um, if you have a great Pyrenees and you have grooming um, knowledge, I've, I've I didn't clip her this year. I've read some things that say you should clip them in hot wet weather and some that say you shouldn't. We just brushed her good to get her winter coat off. But if you have um, grooming knowledge, please comment. I would like to know what we need to do to keep her super healthy. If you need to trim her toes, you just do what I'm doing now and you can just... Oh, she's great with it. <laughs> you just get her to roll over on her back and scratch her belly and she'll let you trim anything you want to do. I just got a bath. Her favorite place to be.
thanks for joining us today here at Cross Timbers Farm for our uh, video segment on livestock guardian dogs or what a lot of folks refer to them as LDGs. LGD. Yeah, L, what did I say? <laughs> LDG, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. livestock dog guardians, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think folks know what I meant. <laughs> I hope, anyway. I hope so. But anyway, thanks for being with us today here on the farm, and I've got a big old white dog down here leaning up against my my legs. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thanks for being with us today here at the farm and 8th Day Chronicles <laughs> channel, and we sure appreciate it very much. And if you feel so inclined, we'd sure appreciate it if you'd like and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We sure appreciate it, and hope you have a wonderful, blessed evening, and God bless. Yeah, maybe share some pictures of your dogs with us. Yeah, that be that'd great. be great. That'd be great. All right. Thanks for being with us. Thanks much. We appreciate it. God bless.